Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have two primers I want to test out. The first one is very in bold letters, self-adjusting primer. This is from Urban Decay. Self-adjusting complexion primer, adapting pigments, soft focus effect, shine control. They hit all the right points. Self-focus, shine control. I think both of these are pretty new, um, but I haven't tried either of them. So yeah, this is the first one. And the second one is from Becca. This is the Velvet Blurring Primer Perfecting Base. Okay. Um, wow, this is very long. Like a magic eraser, instantly the appearance, pores, fine lines, and imperfections are blurred, leaving skin perfectly prepped for long-lasting healing application. The unique lotion to powder formula is oil-free, yet hydrating, and allows makeup to glide on like velvet. To create an ultimate canvas, the delicate emerald shade beautifully flatters and steadily brightens all skin tones as poor blurring powders float over skin to diffuse light for velvety smooth finish. Whew. Overall, from these two packages and claims, I'm more towards the Urban Decay one. I don't know why, probably because their eye primer is good and then their setting powder is good. No, wait, their setting spray is good, but Becca, I have tried one of their primers. I'm not that impressed. So, so far, first impression, I like this one, but we'll have to see, we'll have to test out my face. All right, so let's get closer and get started. Okay, let's open the Urban Decay. Ooh, very nice packaging, white and silver. Self-adjusting, okay. So this one is, let's see how much it is. So Urban Decay, it's $34. So the Becca one is 38 and this is 34. So the Becca one is one fluid ounce and Urban Decay, let's see how, this is less than a fluid ounce, so this is 0 0.95. So not, uh, still this one is kind of cheaper. So let's try the Urban Decay on my right and then back on the left. All right, so let's just pump this. Oh, like this feels like have like little beads in there. Let's see, oh. When you spread it out, it doesn't feel the beads, but looks like it have little like dot like beads in there. Okay, let's try on this side. Ooh, self adjusting, right? So it might look white for now, but we'll see. Is it self adjusting yet? It feels kind of hydrating, a little bit moisturizing. Hmm, not I was expecting. It doesn't feel, feel like it's, it, as you can see, it's kind of absorbing to your skin now. It doesn't feel like it will stay on your face, that kind of silicone um, texture. It doesn't have that texture. It's just like lotion. Okay. Let's just apply a little bit more on this forehead. Do people apply primers with sponge or brush? I feel like that would be kind of weird. Maybe I'm weird, but I always put on primer with my hand. It just feels, you, I, I want to feel the texture, not like foundation. Foundation I feel, sometimes I don't want to feel the texture, but primer I do. Okay, um, first impression, not what I was expecting, kind of. For oily skin, you might feel oily in some way, but it doesn't look oily. It looks okay. So this is the Urban Decay side on my right, and now let's see the Becca on the left. So apricot. All right, so this is the packaging, also very sleek looking, kind of similar. Hmm. Okay, so this is not totally white, but it's like velvety, kind of like a NARS kind of a packaging. Okay, also a pump, very nice. Let's pump out. Ooh, this is super liquidy. You can see it's running. Ah! Okay, so it's definitely liquid to powder. It's like nothing. 
Yeah, I like this side better still. This side is feel like it's going to create a lot of like crumbles and yeah. Always primer does that to my face. I don't know why. Like I feel like it's going to ball up. I'm not a big fan of the Becca one. It's very liquidy in the beginning, but then when you put it on, it's disappeared to nothing and kind of the more you rub into it, you feel like, oh, it's going to kind of feel like exfoliating and create all the crumbles on your face. Mm, I don't like that feeling. So we need to put on foundation to see how they perform. I'm going to use my recent very favorite. It's the um, Fendi Beauty Foundation. So this one, I have since last time I reviewed it, I've been using this every single day, but without primer. Um, so I know exactly how it works. So just with primer, we can truly test out um, if the primer does something. Usually I don't feel primer will do anything, but lately, since there are, have so many different primers um, came out, I just feel like, oh, sometimes it does something, but still, sometimes I don't feel they work. Still one pump. I think that's totally enough for me on one side. So we are going to test out. Yeah, one pump probably is too much. Oh, I can see it's kind of blurred. Wow. This is the Urban Decay side. Wow. Very nice. Okay, the primer does work. I can tell you for sure because usually I feel like my pore looks kind of bigger um, around my cheeks but today feels like it's disappearing very nice yeah you see okay let's try just a half a pump still I didn't use the full pump just half a pump on the right side on my left side. Okay, so I'm going to change to the other side of Beauty Blender so it doesn't affect anything. Okay, so this side is not blend in as easy as the right side. I feel on the left side, which is the Becca side, I feel like it's similar to when I don't use any primer. So I don't think the primer did anything. Um, yeah, it's still, the pore is still there. The coverage is still, sometimes I feel like I need it more here. I still feel like I need it more. Um, but on this side, it's perfectly fine. As you can see, this side is so much better, smoother, more blurred than this side. This side feels a little bit oily in some way. But this side doesn't feel oily. Okay, yeah, definitely I like this one better. I don't think I need to come back at the end of the day and tell you guys because first I don't like how this feels on my face, the Becca one on my face. I don't feel I don't like the feeling. But the Urban Decay one, the feeling is nice, it's cheaper, and it does a wonderful job, as you can see, clearly. So I don't need to test at the end of the day. Probably I will leave something in the comments. Um, so if you want to know how does these two works at the end of the day, I will leave them in the comments down below in the description box so you can check them out. But I don't feel the needs of coming back in here and do a check again at the end of the day so yeah i'm going to leave it like that i'm going to apply the rest of my makeup soon and then i will be right back we're back and from the application of the rest of the makeup i can clearly 
see that the Urban Decay side is so much smoother and so much velvetier or and look at the highlighter goes on smooth perfect and this side it just not that big a difference with or without the primer so i've been using without the primer of the foundation for so long for the past week or two um it's looked the same kind of in some ways but it's not that bad um but overall definitely i would choose this one cheaper and smoother nicer if you're wondering what i'm wearing on my lips today i do think this color if you apply this color is so in, universal this is the uh, kevon d lolita 2 i tried with just one thin layer kind of like very light red um kind of suits your skin tone perfectly but today i use a very heavy hand and it gives that kind of red but darker red i didn't know they will, this will look like this with a very heavy hand i never tried that but it looks nice festival new year's christmas all suitable color i feel so this is a lolita too if you're wondering yeah okay so that's all for today's review i hope you like it and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys